Well, really, we threw it together at the last minute uh, between Antill and Shelby, Shelby Township, Utica, Sterling Heights, Utica Community Schools, and it's come together in a great way. We're collecting hundreds, if not over a thousand coats. We have 300 coats donated today, um, and this is going to go a long way towards making lives better for kids in the uh, in the city of Sterling Heights and in the Macomb County. Uh, Shelby Township, the Utica Community School District, it's really a tremendous thing. The Neighbors and Friends of Sterling Heights, which is a new social group uh, looking to connect women with other women who have similar interests, were able to secure a $5,000 donation from a donor in the community to work with Burlington Coat Factory and their uh, community relations out of their corporate office to secure 300 coats for the Antolin Coats for Kids drive. Right now, from what we've pulled in at Group Antolin Shelby, we're about a thousand coats. Uh, on top of that, we've had a lot of money donations. Some of the one challenge that we did have was buying all of these coats. We were actually buying every store out, so we uh, we had some cash donations to help out. And now with Sterling Heights providing this big from Burlington Coat Factories and other people within the community and Shelby Township and Utica, I mean, this is a huge, uh, exciting day for all of us and continuing on to do a final count for all this. I was blown away. I was absolutely blown away at the $5,000. Um, the donor was someone who said that this was the kind of thing that was affecting them when they were growing up. So it was no question they wanted to be involved. They wanted to make the donation and um, we were we were very happy to help. Yeah, you know, we, we have um, hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of businesses and we have uh, obviously 130,000 great residents who when asked to, they really step up to the plate to help out our community. And what, that's what makes Sterling Heights a great city in my opinion. And I'm proud to uh, have my wife be a part of this too. Uh, she's forming a new group for Sterling Heights residents, uh, for women who want to connect and be part of the community and give back. And, um, and she really facilitated this. Uh, you know, obviously want to thank the, the large donation from the anonymous donor in the community, but. Um, my wife also worked hard through her new group to get this done. And so it's really is a great community day. Well, the biggest thing was is, is Group Alliance Living is a, is a worldwide company and we were a big firm believer in giving back to the community. You look at, uh, we we're currently have the largest manufacturing facility within Shelby Township. Uh, and with what Shelby did to help us be successful in Macomb County, um, we wanted to give back to the community and as we have with other communities with Sterling Heights and Utica. So it's really big for us to give back, to thank the community. And the most important thing is to make sure no kids go without a coat. When I first contacted Burlington, they were ecstatic, they were excited to get involved. This is exactly what their community relations um, sets out to do, is help get coats um, at a discounted cost into the hands of kids who need them.